Okay, this video here has been shot slightly out of sequence. I will be uh, numbering it in its correct um, position. The reason I want to do it now is because it's very important strategically for this particular fight that we uh, use heroic um, profiles and heroic um, statistics to influence things like who gets the initiative, who, who charges first, who fights first, etc. Um, now, a heroic profile will have, if you look at this little example here, like here I have a, cap, a hero, Captain of Minus Tirith, he, he actually has um, two resilience, that means he's got two wounds, he's got a courage of four, and he's got uh, a might of two. All right. Now that might figure enables him to use heroic actions. Now in this particular combat, the uh, formations, the rower in formations, the um, first three that you can see, you look at the uh, units with the textured bases, uh, there is a hero on each one of those bases. Um, now the orc archers don't have any heroes, but the uh, the Urukai have a hero there on that formation's lead base, and they have another one here. Okay. Now that the specialist units like uh, Ugluks and Grishnark's forces also have heroes as well. You can see them, you can see Grishna out there, and you can see Ugluk there. Okay, uh, and there's also the Rorim have a, a special hero over here, which is Aoma. Now, first thing, when you're fighting, and you've got a hero or within your unit, um, you will use the fight value of the hero for the entire company rather than the normal fight value. Uh, if the company contains more than one hero it uses the highest fight value present. Okay. Uh, resilience, as with other troops, uh, heroes resilience reference amounts of damage he can sustain before succumbing to to his wounds. Uh, unlike other troops, a hero's resilience is only used in a duel. Um, that's a bit misleading. You'd still have to to overcome his resilience to knock him out in any other type of fight. Um, you notice that heroes have courage. Uh, they have a courage stat here under C. That's because uh, they've, they've got better morale than the rest of the troops uh, in the uh, formation. Uh, and a formation that contains a hero uses that hero's courage value rather than its own if it wants to pass a courage test. Now might, this is the important stuff. This is very similar to the way might works in uh, the strategy battle game. And it allows you to perform heroic feats. Um, and this one, unlike the others, other stats is actually a, uh, it's a, a point value so it decreases each time you use one might thing you, you, your remaining might goes down by one uh, it can be used to inflict a hit on an enemy company that's by manipulating the dice roll it can be used to um, uh, pass a courage test manipulating the dice roll as well uh, also to increase the result of a charge uh, 
modify results on charge on charts which is hard to hit uh, yeah, dual, heroic duels etc right each point of might that's expended can be used to adjust a single dice score up or down by one to a maximum of six or to a minimum of one Um, in some cases when you're trying to hit you need to roll two dice as I said before a six on the first one and then say a four on the second one if you're doing that the might bonus is added to both rolls okay uh, you do not have to decide to use might until after the dice has been rolled that's really important so, in other words, if you achieve what you're trying to do, you haven't wasted your might. Okay. Just hold on a second. Right, we're looking at heroic actions. Oh, oh, oh. got a cat here. You see this big, big monster cat that's on the table. Right. See what you can do. You've got at the double, which uh, the hero may take a courage test to move at the double after it's completed its move. If the test fails, nothing happens. If the test is passed, the formation may immediately move again. If they do that, they're not allowed to shoot. So that's important. And you can only move at the double once in a turn. Right, as with regular movement, at the double move is harder to perform with the enemy are nearby. As an enemy within six inches, the courage test suffers a penalty of minus one. And this is in addition to the movement being halved due to the enemy proximity. Right, heroic deaths. Uh, being a hero um, is dangerous uh, and it can be, they can be slain in battle and duels. Um, naturally if a hero is slain you can't leave a, com a space in the command company while there are able-bedded men or orcs or such as elsewhere in the formation. Should the hero be slain, remove the model from play and then replace it with a, another model um, from the company. Well, from the formation, sorry. Right, heroic actions. Okay, there are lots of different um, circumstances or, or phases in which a, a heroic action can take place. Um, now, if, say, two players wanted to make a heroic move uh, to gain the advantage of, of moving first in a move phase, um, what happens then is you have a roll-off and a one, two, or three, the evil player will win it. And on a four, five, or six, the good player will play it. So that means, like you can in the strategy ba uh, strategy battle game, you're not guaranteed um, to win it, um, even if you're the priority player. You know, you can end up you can end up in a situation where the enemy does a, a move, does a heroic move. And then you think, well, I, I, even though I've got priority, I've got to make a heroic move to counter that. But you can't, you're not necessarily going to win that. Heroic shoots um, at the start of the shoot phase, uh, it can shoot before any other models. But as I've said, you can't do that if you've uh, used at the double. Heroic charge. Um, the hero in his formation will charge before other models that are not making heroic actions. Heroic fight. Uh, if the hero declares a heroic fight at the start of the fight phase, the combat his formation is involved in will be worked out before any other combats in that turn. Uh, 
right if this formation uh, wins that it can immediately charge and fight again but before proceeding with the fight phase that this is similar to the strategy battle game it's really powerful so you're both basically getting two attacks <laughs> and two charges so uh, if you can pull that one off it's a good one heroic jewels you can get into a battle with an enemy hero um, You've got to, the hero's formation must be in base contact with the other hero's um, formation. Um, and there's a little table here that, you, that has a look at the, the jewels. Um, not really going to go into much more detail about that. It's pretty specialist that. Okay, another thing we have is epic heroes. I, I, I slightly confused things before in describing Aoma, Ugluk and Krishnak as common heroes. They're not the epic heroes. Uh, and they have special characteristics. In fact, uh, there's quite a lot of differences for epic heroes and we're going to have to... Uh, I'm going to have to go and check that section and do a separate video for it.